Luis, what the hell are you doing? Taking Sheridan in for breaking the law, Hank. What law? County Ordinance 452. Never heard of it. <sighs> it's because he's making it up. Uh, no. It's clear that you were in danger, but you wouldn't hire a bodyguard. That's against the law. Oh, yeah, in your dreams. You know what? I'll read it to you while I'm booking you at the station. How's that? Over my dead body. That's what I'm trying to avoid. Come on, I'll get Sam to take off the Hank. Cuffs, okay? Hank. Don't even try it. Out, Louise. Hank. Don't interfere. I'm arresting Sheridan for her own good. He's only arresting me because I had him arrested in Boston. That has nothing to do with it. does, it. too. It does not. Are you just trying to even the score here? Yes. No, but it is. Look. By refusing to get a bodyguard, Sheridan was posing a threat to herself and to the community. You're the only menace around here, you macho pig. You see what I gotta deal with? I'm just trying to get through to her and she acts like a two-year-old. A spoiled one at that. How dare you say such a thing! Look, Hank, you see how that woman was killed over here tonight? Now, that could happen to anyone, but especially to a star witness against a drug cartel. But does Sheridan take the threat seriously? No, she wanders around here by herself, alone at night, without a bodyguard. Surely you're practically inviting those killers to come here and finish you off. <laughs> right, like, like two men who are wanted by Interpol are just going to wing their way to America, slip into town unnoticed, and shoot me dead. But is that yeah. the most ridiculous thing you've ever heard, or what? Um, I'm sorry. I mean, Luis kind of has a point. A word he says, I can take care of myself. Yeah, this coming from the woman who almost drank the poisoned wine and played dodge the bullet all over Paris. Oh, he's making it sound a lot worse than it was. Look, you're under arrest if you don't get on your cell phone, hire a bodyguard, and have him brought down here ASAP. No! Sheridan, why not humor him? It beats going to jail, okay? Because I am refusing on principle. No one tells me what to do. You can pout once you're in your cell. I'm not pouting. I'm protesting this outrage with nonviolent resistance. You know, if you want to arrest me, you'll just have to carry me off. Fine. Put me down! You know, I'd like to see this alleged law that you're using to arrest me. I, I bet it doesn't even exist. As usual. You're wrong. Let's see now. County Ordinance 452. When an individual, that's you, Sheridan, refuses to be protected from known enemies and becomes a menace not only to said individual, but to the welfare of the community and an officer of the law, that's me has the right to arrest and hold said individual until such time as said individual agrees to cooperate with local authorities. Now, did you get that? Or is your thick skull preventing it from sinking? Let me see that. Stubborn, combative, real pain. You see, th this ordinance doesn't apply to me. <laughs> Why is that? Because my enemies are in Paris. They're not here in Harmony. Ergo, I'm not a menace to myself or society. Ergo, you can't arrest me. Sure. A woman was walking alone, shot and killed at the wharf tonight. That could have just as easily have been you. So until that killer is caught, there's still a threat out there. But not to me specifically. You don't know that. This killer could be out just to kill blondes in Harmony. I don't care. You know, there's another ordinance in here that makes my arrest null and void. You're in big trouble now, Buster. The ordinance you overlooked makes my arrest illegal. That's impossible. Ordinance 452 gives me the right to arrest anyone who is considered a menace to themselves or the community. And that's you to a T. Sorry, Deputy Dog, but I have you dead to rights. When an individual, that's me, is confronted by an officer of the law, that's you, who is petty and macho, Ordinance 452 does not apply. It's not in there. No, but it should be, you egomaniacal control freak. You know, if you would just listen hey! for one minute, you would realize... Behave, kids, okay? I think I know a way to settle this. Well, good luck trying to convince the missing link. 
I mean, Luis will never admit that he was wrong to have had me arrested just because I was alone for five minutes. But he doesn't care about my safety. He just can't stand the fact that I'm back in town and I am perfectly safe. It just kills him that no one has tried to kill me. Yet? It doesn't mean they won't try. Oh, please! You know, there could be someone out there right now looking to kill you. Where's your proof? By the time I had the proof, it'd be too late. You'd be dead. Okay, let the record show that Luis has no proof. Damn it, Sheridan. Somewhere inside that deep void that you call a mind of yours, you've got to realize that you are in big trouble. Especially when you're walking around the wharf, late at night, alone, unguarded. Sheridan, you keep that up, you're going to end up like Crystal. I think I know a way to break this stalemate you're in, okay? Now, do you guys want to hear my brilliant idea? Good. Okay? Now, let me get this straight. If Sheridan agrees to have a bodyguard tonight, then you have no reason to arrest her, right? Look, Hank, if Sheridan was in compliance with County Code 452, there wouldn't be a problem. At least not on my part. Hey! I am not going to get a bodyguard tonight or any other night just because Luis thinks that I'm a menace. Well, I am not letting you put this town at risk just because you have a death wish. Now, if Roger and Pierre sent some henchmen to kill you and they missed, they could take out an innocent bystander. You're just afraid that if it happens on your watch, then you won't get promoted to detective, right? That's it. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney if you can't afford one. Come here. What the hell do you think you're doing, Hank? Listen, I'm trying to keep you from making the same mistake Sheridan made in Boston, okay? Let me talk to her. I'll convince her to get a bodyguard tonight. You can't get through to her. No one can. Look, and the bottom line is I'm not letting her leave without protection. Whoever killed Crystal is still on the loose. Sharon can walk through the crosshairs of a loaded gun. <laughs>